Hey, uh, Stephanie DiGiano here. So I did a creating a list with GetResponse, um, but I was actually starting a new campaign for a new project, and I was thinking it probably would be good to give you kind of a, um, a peek into what I'm actually doing while I'm doing it as opposed to just kind of running through the areas and explaining to you where they are. So I've logged into my get response and um, this should be the first area that you should come up to is the getting started in three easy steps it kind of runs you through it uh, but let me just take you through what I do um, which is a little bit different now when you sign up to get response your billing information that's been a big thing for me is that the billing information address would always always be the default but that is not necessarily going to be your um, business address. Sometimes the business address and the billing address are two different things. So there's always an area that I have to go through to double check that. And sometimes I forget and it kind of goes out on emails. And well, I'll just be frank with you. There's information that I like to have separate when it comes to my business. Um, even though I share with you my family and the things that I'm doing, there's just certain things that I like to keep separate because, well, you know, that's what you do um, when you have a family. You want to protect them, and that's just kind of what it is. So, And that may not be the thing for you um, necessarily, but knowing where all these little areas are, it just makes it easier once you get used to get response, especially if you're used to another tool such as Aweber, it's it's a different setup. So <clears throat> let's just walk through it real quick and I'll stop babbling. All right, so I'm going to close out of there. And um, I kind of had started creating the uh, list um, earlier. And then I was like, you know what? I should be recording this so people could see. But essentially what you would do is create a new campaign. Um, when you create that campaign, It's going to have you do the campaign name, which it'll show you right on the side here. If you look, it shows um, to the to your right um, name. Campaign name must be between X amount to X amount characters, only A through Z, all lowercase, right? So um, that's why no spaces, none of that good stuff. Um, so you'll put your, your list in. Uh, your name of your list that you want. You can copy your settings from other campaigns if you like, if you already have some loaded, um, and then create new campaign. I'm a little bit anal when it comes to stuff like this because even if I click the copy settings, I'm still going to go through and look at the different areas just to make sure that everything is correct and, and what it should be. That's just kind of me. Maybe annoying, maybe tedious, but it just is who I am. So create new campaign. Um, Oh, look, I didn't even follow the rules. So we'll just say like that. And then once you create, it's going to bring you to this page and it's going to tell you your campaign was um, successfully created. And then you can add contacts, edit campaign settings, create newsletter, create your autoresponder. Um, I'm going to go to the edit campaign settings because this is the area I was talking about before where I have to fix some stuff. <clears throat> Um, so here is the name of your campaign, right? The language that you want it in. I always turn my email on because if I'm sending you guys out emails, I don't want it to be a no reply. I want you guys to be able to um, get back to me and, you know, whatever it is. And then uh, you can choose where your notifications are going to be coming to, which I like it to go to my business and not my personal. All right, and then the address area, you, of course, cannot see my address, but this is the area I was talking about where you want to be able to update it. All right, so we'll update that. It's going to update there. And then over to the left, there's your profile. You can set up your um, 
your title of your campaign again this is get response and this it doesn't matter if it's capital or not um, so we're gonna save that nice <clears throat> I was about to yell for my son and then forgot I was talking to you guys. <laughs> Hold on one second. All right, so now you come down here, you can set up your agencies. Basically, um, you can leave it at agencies. It just really depends on, you know, your business. What is your business type? What is that industry? So you can choose whatever it is. Um, Obviously, if you do auto repair, you're going to choose automotive, whatever, what have you. And then you'll put in your campaign description. Um, I'm going to call it back office. I don't think they really call it a back office, but I just am just because. All right, and then you can put your logo here. It can be whatever you want. It can be your um, picture. When you open it up, it's going to give you your pictures you can use. Um, and then you have iStock, which will also have a list of pictures that you can use as well. So we'll leave that. And then where do you want the picture to go to? So when they click on your logo, is it going to your business site? Is it going to your blog? Where would you like it to go? Um, I'm just going to leave that blank because I'm just doing this, you know, purely for you. And then, of course, you have your RSS feed link here. That's something you want to save so that you have access to it. And then here, down in this area, it gives you a preview of your different pages. Now, um, you can... You see, it'll show you. So basically, if you, if I was to go and subscribe, it's going to show me that, hey, Stephanie, thank you for subscribing. Your subscription has been confirmed and your email address at blah, blah, blah has been added to our list. So um, it gives them that confirmation message. So you kind of can go through and see what each one looks like. If you have your own, you can also have them set up where your own sub, uh, subscription settings, your, you know, all of that stuff, your confirmation message, if you have your own pages set up, there is another area where you can actually set that up. <clears throat> and this is it. So, um... That's how that is for that. And then you have your permissions um, tab. And this kind of goes over, um, you know, how you want your list to be set up. So, uh, you know, you can um, import your subscriptions, um, do web subscriptions, email subscriptions. But basically, this is just your area. You can kind of play with this the way that you want. Um, and what I was talking about before with the confirmation page, you can have it hosted by GetResponse or you can do a um, custom URL. <clears throat> and you can change your message subject um, for the confirmation. This is where you'll be able to update it to what you want. You can do a custom subject, but just like um, uh, other services, it's going to be a certain amount of time. I want to say 72 hours, but don't quote me on that before it gets approved. It has to go through for approval. So you can do your own custom subject um, or a predefined, whichever one you want. And then, um, of course, what email do you want to show where it's coming from, right? So that's how that goes. So now we're all done with there. And then, of course, remember, if you ever get stuck, you have your live chat over here. So that's um, good, too. All right. So now, once you're done with that, you're ready to, to set up your autoresponder messages. So you can go to create your autoresponder message, and it's going to bring you through a step-by-step, -step, just like I showed you before, where you can set it up. Um, you should have already seen that recording by now if you watch my recordings, but I'm really not creating any messages um, we'll say, we'll just go through one. It's going to look like, 
nonsense, but we'll just go through it anyway. So this particular first message is that welcome email, so to speak. So they'll get the subscription, just like with most autoresponders, they have to subscribe um, unless you turn that off. And once they subscribe, they'll get the welcome email letting them know, um, you know, hey, thanks for signing up for um, weekly newsletter and, and how to do it yourself tips and tricks and for whatever your subject is whatever your niche is they'll get that first welcome email so that's why I have it set up to go out <clears throat> day zero send message immediately um, you can if you notice hey I don't want to set up this message to go to this list I want it to go to one of my others you also have um, access to set that up from here too so instead of going back and re-clicking a new um, campaign you can do it from here but for the most part if you're in your campaign you're probably gonna know because you just know that you need to um, click it there will be an area when you're on the main dashboard to select the campaign you want to work with um, so you'll choose your message you can create a new email or you could choose an existing message so for example all any messages that I've done um, it, with other lists I can bring it up and I can look at them and say you know what this message would be really great for this list most likely though if you have a um, different campaigns running they're gonna be specific to different niches and you're probably gonna create your own email all right so here's where you title your message we'll just say this is the welcome email um, now the rule of thumb is for your um, <clears throat> this is your tip that when you're thinking of subject lines um, if you can keep the subject line, <clears throat> I believe it's less than 12 characters, um, I think it's 10 to 12 characters, those are going to be subject lines that are going to open. Um, I have a training coming out um, pretty soon on that, but, you know, that's just your tip. The shorter, um, and you want it to be something relative um, to what the email message is, but the subject line is the first thing that your folks are going to see the subject line is what's going to make them open so keep that in mind when you're thinking of your subject lines try to keep them um, simple you know something I've seen subject lines like hey did he do that stuff really basic and simple be subject lines that get high um, open rate so just keep that in mind when you are creating your email and again um, who is this from you want to update your email there and you can track the click-through if you have Google Analytics you can also turn that on but I'm just gonna go to the next step and here you can choose to do your email from scratch as you notice right here if you have um, emails you can import them you can choose pre-designed templates this is what I do like um, I think for both get response and Aweber both and I always compare to Aweber because those are the two services that I've had and I was really happy with Aweber I'm not gonna say that I wasn't happy with them my only thing was is that as my business grew um, the amount that I was having to pay with them grew a lot quicker than it is with get response so to speak because you can get more um, you can get more leads yeah, for your your autoresponder through get response for um, a cheaper amount of money than you could with Aweber so and I have a video comparing them a review video out there so check that out on my channel subscribe to my channel so you're getting my videos so anyways um, you can do different stuff you know for me I chose my campaign to be agencies so these are the type of emails um, the templates that it's going to give me these are kind of the um, normal templates you don't have to choose that you can choose what you want if you have an autumn you know um, automotive you can choose that it's gonna give you images that are specific to that which is gonna make sense if you're sending out birthday it has it so it has a lot of different templates and that I do like um, but I will say that Aweber also had the same thing so pretty on point for the two and then of course you can pay to have them um, 
do a, or you can order a different template you can also pay someone to actually design your email as well so keep that in mind they have those extra services which I think is pretty cool so anyways um, I'm just gonna go with agencies and hmm I don't know which one I like black might be a little bit difficult on the eyes so I'm just gonna choose this even though I really like black And then there you go. You just fill in the information where you want. I am not going to do that because then we'll be here all day because this is not what I had prepared. Um, I just wanted to do this real quick so that you could see. And then you already have your settings there. It'll let you preview what it looks like. <clears throat> Once you're done, you can save it and you can publish. Um, so that's it. It's really simple and easy. I just wanted to kind of take you through the process of creating a new list. And hopefully I've answered any questions that you may be having when you are starting your new list. If not, please ask. Leave it down in the comments. If you need help with something, you're struggling, you're more than welcome to email me if you have that email. But um, let me know what you like. Uh, if there was something that you thought needed to be added or if I forgot something, let me know and subscribe to my channel so that as I'm putting out these trainings, you can get access to them first. Well, that's it for now. You have a wonderful, prosperous day. And I know the holidays are approaching at this point of recording the video. So I just want to say have a wonderful holiday. For those that see this way after the holidays, I hope you had a good one. Take care.